my God, the drama was at Stamford Bridge. Problem with the Champions League group stage is just too boring. Dull, <laughs> aren't it? Dull, dull. <laughs> uneventful, uh, not worth watching um, at all. Extraordinary night. I want to get through these bits because we want to get to the big controversial moment quickly, but we thought Ajax had it wrapped up with yeah. that Van de Beek goal, didn't we, Graham? Yeah, they were clinical. You know, when they got anywhere near the goal, they were, they were super. I mean, and Van de Beek, we saw him finish against Real Madrid, we saw him finish against Juventus. It's a class act, but... The amount of space and time he gets in Chelsea's box is criminal. And we'll highlight it here. Kovacic, watch, we'll stop it here. He sees him, so he knows he's in his territory. He knows he's a danger to him. He's, at this moment, he's got to be thinking about getting goal side. He thinks it's safe because the Chelsea player wins it. He doesn't win it. And he's on his heels, just walking. Van der, Beek, Van der Beek has a chance to take a touch, steady himself and get his shot off. That's criminal. You know, if you're a, if you're mm. a midfield player running back towards your own goal, you've got to be assessing... The situation. Where are the dangers? If they if they're in your immediate area, you get goal side and get close. They just knocked off. Not my job. Let someone else deal with it. The comeback began before the two sendings off. <laughs> yeah. To be fair to Chelsea, um, with Aspilicueta's goal, we didn't get a really good look on uh, whether there was a check on the offside, but. Yeah, no, I think they did check it and we didn't get to see it, but it, it stood. And it was a bit of desperation, lots of players in the box. You need a break here as you go to whip it across. There was a couple of deflections and fair play to us, Pilicueta. He comes in at the far post. There was a little hold up at that point there. It looks very, very close, but his touch was vital. As you'd see at this point, oh, I tell you what, <laughs> it's hard to call, but they called it as a, as a goal. It was given. And uh, the stadium kind of made a bit of noise. You'll see there, it's come through players. It's had to do a lot of things to, to make its way to the back post there. And he says, come on, let's go. And a bit of belief came in there. Give still... Tammy some credit there to keep it alive. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Puts his foot and he's going but to get still a... an awful lot nice. of work for Chelsea to do at that point. But aided big time by the refereeing decisions I here. Think now, so. you have some problems yeah, with I these think, decisions. Yeah, you know, this is a mismatch. Danny Blint against Tammy Abrahams. Now, this is where the controversy is. I, I think Blint is favourite for the ball because he's actually in front of Pulisic. I think when Pulisic realises he's not getting it, he tangles his legs up with Danny, Danny Blint. And then I think, they get, I think the referee just I, gets excited. OK. Danny Blint wants a foul. So he's got across on there. I think that's a foul. Blint is fouled then, there. Then the ball, look where the ball is, where Pulisic is on. Is it Pulisic or Jorginho fouls Danny Blint when he's now, he thinks he's going away with the ball? And, I, and I'm not sure about, you know... And you disagree, though? Yeah, no, here, I, here, I, I think, I think he's gone across Pulisic and that could be given as a foul. It's a bit of a tiger. Right. The referee is looking at it. He's very close. We'll see if no, he's going This is where legs yeah. come in. Look, uh, there. I, I'm with you. I think he looks at it and says it's six or one, half a dozen, the other play again, on. And then again, where does he catch him there? On the ankle. On the side of the ankle. Is that a booking? Really? It, it's, it, is that a booking? The second yellow for Blint. OK, you, you're disagreeing with that. The second yellow for Veltman, we believe, was for the handball. Yeah. And a, the handball is something that, you know, the phrase unnatural silhouette. Yeah, it, it wasn't is, ridiculous. It wasn't up over shoulder high, which yeah. automatically everybody would agree it was a penalty. It was pretty close down at the side. I think he's probably given some credence to the distance the ball travelled. And the player could and should, an athlete should get his hand out of the way. Was it an unnatural oh, silhouette? Oh, I don't you. know if we'll get a chance to, to I'll specifically see that. But. Uh, before it hit him, about eight yards. It wasn't like up front where you, you, you know. It was eight yards. I'd like to see it. Can we not see it? I, that's, that's my memory of yeah, it. But, uh... but his hands are down there. Where else can you be other than put them behind your back? Mm. And, and so they're now saying that defenders have to run around with their hands behind their back when the ball's in their territory. It's a nonsense. No, I, I don't For think me, it's, 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 it's an interpretation that. of that phrase, unnatural silhouette. Mm -hmm. Well, that's not an unnatural so silhouette. So if he has it like that, then OK, Out penalty. there. Yeah. Penalty that's... European, the Champions League final against Spurs. I get that. I don't get when your hands are down there. Not there, down there. By your side. I don't get that. Well, I think I, the referee I, had a, a I, mad I, moment, a mad 30 I, seconds. I disagree. I think it's handball. Well, I let's think have it's a, handball. Let's have a, can, can we not see it? No, we're not going to see that. We'll see that again uh, in the highlights programme later on because we do want to get um, to the... the well, Chelsea still had a bit of work to do at that <laughs> stage. Uh, made it by 4-3 with Jorginho's uh, second penalty uh, and then it was uh, Rhys James, another... Yeah. Uh, inspirational substitution. Yeah, and, and from there was desperation. Like a great header from Zuma. What a fabulous header. Hits the bar, comes out. And he, you know, he does really well here because he had to settle himself. He had to watch the ball, see it onto his laces, and he hits right through it. And well, the, the stadium was alive at that point then. It was fantastic. Marvellous, marvellous yeah, play. This, 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 this is a loud goal. It. Yeah, just, it does actually it hit Abram's hand on the way uh, back as it made it to his Pilichuetto. 
They thought they'd won it here. There, just there. And so that's a similar thing as, as, as we were well, saying. Well, in an attacking shot. situation, any handball, whether accidental or not, is, mm -hmm. is not permitted. That's different. Yeah, yeah well, that is... That, that, and you're a striker. I, I just think... I just knew... I, I think I'm more telling you. three or four yards when he struck... Well, we'll see it later. OK, we'll have we'll a see, we'll, have, we'll have a good look at it later on. Uh, it's, it was a mad old game, OK? And conclusions to be brought from it. Are there any conclusions? You just say... that was Chelsea a... got the luck that was going tonight. Oh, Chelsea might say that the... You know, the, the Aspilicueta goal where he's, he mis, misjudged the flight of the ball. Um, it was just a thoroughly entertaining game of football. But Chelsea, in the first half, got a bit of a chasing. It was welcome to the big time for some of the younger guys. But they'll learn from it. And mm. they've got a result where... I think if I had kept 11 players on the pitch, they weren't going to get one. But uh, yeah. that happens in football to get Lucky a bit of tonight, luck. Chelsea? I think so overall, mm. yeah. And, and, and let's give Ajax credit. Because even with nine yeah, men... <laughs> oh, yeah. my God, there's five of them up in the box. What are they doing? It's only nine <laughs> men. And I mentioned to you, I played with Arsenal. It's got two sent off. We all just camped on the edge of our own box for an hour. You're not meant to play football like that. <laughs> Brilliant stuff. He's no, he's no George Graham, is Eric? No, no, let's, let's, let's have a hey, we, we, We've got this now. Dug out Dudley. from the... Oh, that's more than two yards. Angle. Yeah. That's more than two yards, Graham. Now, you I think, think that's he... a penalty? Yes, he can get his hand out of the way. <laughs> yes. Can we see how far it is? What is it, four or five yards? <laughs> is he striking on the 18-yard line? He's on the penalty spot, so how far is that? I think he's, it's at least six. I think a, a footballer, an athlete, can get his hand out of the way there. Yeah, no, there you go. Me. It's it's all about interpretation, isn't it? Yeah, sure but that's is. a joke. Mm. I mean, you can't. I mean, the rules of the game. Unnatural silhouette. Good name for a band. What, is that? <laughs> is that an unnatural silhouette if your arms are at your side? I think he can That's get his hand question. out of the way out of that. Pause uh, that thought, gentlemen. Let's have a quick look at how Group H looks after this evening's games, and it is a three-way tie at the top: Ajax and Chelsea and Valencia, all on seven points. Uh, Valencia winning 4-1 at home to Lille. Lille look gone. Three-way battle. Uh, for the uh, next, uh, for the, the top two places, uh, Valencia, Chelsea next time, and Lille, Ajax uh, 